sur de gloire Il est au ciel En toi La gloire What is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? A grave sin Eternal and unforgivable Mark 3 2 Verily I say unto you all sins shall be forgiven the children of men, and the blasphemies which they shall speak. But whosoever blasphemes against the Holy Ghost shall never attain forgiveness. He is guilty of eternal sin. In Noah's time, when I resolved to destroy men, animals, and the whole earth with the flood of waters for the wickedness and sin of men. Noah found favoring my sight. I sent him to announce to men the plague that will come upon men, animals and the whole earth. Perhaps they will return from their evil ways, and who knows? Perhaps I will spare them. They were hard of hearing until the flood destroyed them all. I said in my word, Luke 17:26, that what happened in Noah's time will also happen in the days of the Son of Man, that the demons who hardened the hearts of men in Noah's time until they perished are still at work today. In Noah's time, Men laughed at him, but without knowing it, they laughed at their own lives. They had died standing up without knowing it. When the time came, when they all perished in the flood of waters, they finally knew that they were not laughing at Noah but at their own lives. Today the end is very near. The terrible plague will still strike the whole earth and men. Daniel 12 colon 1 And it shall come to pass at that time, that Michael the great prince shall rise up, the defender of the children of your people. And it shall be a time of trouble, such as has not been since the nations were to this time. At that time, those of your people who are found recorded in the book will be saved. I still send the Noah, my son Gabriel, to you to warn you and prepare you to escape this evil, but the same demons of Noah's time are still there and push you to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit to lose you definitively and forever, and you have not been wise. You thought you were blaspheming against the Apostle Gabriel, and now you've fallen into the trap of demons. It's done for you, there's more cured. You were saying inside yourself, we made fun of him. Oh, that's good for him. Where's his God? Where is this Gabriel's God? He doesn't see us. No harm has come to us. Yeah, here's what you thought you were saying. Men of foolish stiff necks, uncircumcised in heart and ear, who oppose the Holy Spirit with all your blasphemous words against him, when you mocked him by saying Jesus through your comedies, now you are condemned with your descendants. You'll pay interest on everything. When you are torn to pieces and begin to feel unbearable and eternal suffering, you will know that the Holy Spirit is not being mocked. Now you have spoken curses against the Holy Spirit. You told him, Holy Spirit, liar, man of blood, you make the dust flight. You threw the stone against the Holy Spirit and you shipped against him. You grated your teeth at him and exposed him. 
the demons that pushed you to commit such things await you in hell. They will teach you that I am formidable. I made alliances with my son Gabriel. I told him, You are my wife. All you will say to me is what I will do, and you will judge the saints with me at the last. I give you the last word when you say to this one enters, he will enter my kingdom. When you tell the other one goes to hell, he goes to hell. But in this matter do not ask me to receive them in my kingdom. Such is my warning. They are guilty of an eternal sin. Ezekiel 14 colon 12 14 19 to 20 The word of the Lord was addressed to me, in these words, Son of man, if a land sin against me, and commit unfaithfulness, and I stretch out my hand upon it, and break the staff of bread for it, and send famine upon it. If I had cut off men and beasts, and these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were among him, they would save their souls by their righteousness, says the Lord God. Or if I send the pestilence into this land, or pour out my wrath against it by death, to destroy men and beasts, and there be among it Noah, Daniel, and Job, I am alive. Says the Lord God, they would save neither sons nor daughters, but would save their souls by their righteousness. This means that, even if someone were my heart, if he intervened in this matter he would obtain mercy for no one. They're doomed forever. Their end is stopped and there is nothing more to do to save them. Hebrews 10 colon 26 27 For if we sin voluntarily after having received the knowledge of the truth, there is no more sacrifice for sins but a terrible expectation of judgment and the ardor of a fire that will devour the rebels. 1 Peter 5 16 If anyone sees his brother commit a sin that does not lead to death, let him pray, and God will give life to that brother. He will give it to those who commit a sin that does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death sin against the Holy Spirit. It is not for that sin that I say to pray. Let no one pity or intercede for those who are finally and eternally condemned. If they themselves fasted, watched, prayed, made every possible restitution, if they increased tithes, first fruits and offerings, if they built houses for the Father of nations whatever they did, more forgiveness for them. They were foolish and overthrew their own lives by their evil deeds. Proverbs 14 colon 1 The wise woman builds her house, and the foolish woman hands it over. They consult and encourage each other. They turn from me and lean on themselves. Jeremiah 7 colon 16 17 And you, do not intercede on behalf of this people, neither exult nor pray for them, nor make pleas to me. For I will not listen to you. See you not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? Yes, they do abominable things. They are astray, but they mock him whom God sends them to warn them and spare them from evil to come. Therefore the Lord will not have mercy on them.
2 Chronicles 36 15 to 17 The Lord the God of their fathers gave his messengers good hours to warn them for he wanted to spare his people and his own habitation but they mocked the messengers of God and despised his word and mocked his prophets until the wrath of the Lord against his people became without remedy. Then the Lord brought up the king of the Chaldeans against them, and slew their young men in the house of their sanctuary with the sword, and spared not the young man, nor the young woman, nor the old man, nor the white-haired man. He delivered all things into his hand. That is why they were the young men, young girls, their children, their families, their descendants and their club will all perish in hell and they will know that I am the fearsome God. The Lord God no longer needs your types, first fruits, offering for voluntary gifts, camera, CD burner, etc. Keep them. For God does not take pleasure in the gifts of a sinner. And all those who participated in one way or another in clarity and and marriage are contaminated by clarity and and curse. They'll pay dearly in hell. I have asked the whole world to bring their types, their first fruits, their offerings to the Father of the nations. And you call him a cook? Had I not asked Abraham for the types? Am I a crook to you? Genesis 14 colon 18 20 Melchizedek king of Salem brought bread and wine. He was the priest of the Most High God. He blessed Abram and said, Blessed be Abram by the Most High God master of heaven and earth. Blessed be the Most High God, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tithe of all. When he was still selling Viagra in the world, do you call him a crook? How did he swindle you? I said he alone must receive the tithes. People can say, Is he alone who is called? Yes, I have called others. But where are they and what are they doing to ensure that of the millions who die each year, only to reach heaven? It even happens that during five years, among all those who die, hardly to arrive in heaven. Yes, I have called them. How many souls do they read for me? How many priests, bishops, cardinals, popes, religious sisters or faithful of the Catholic Church have already reaped for me? How many Chinese, Indians, Japanese, French, Americans, lesbians, pederasts, doorknobbers, Drug addicts, Rostamet, thieves, delinquents, prostitutes, charlatans, marabouts, sorcerers have already reaped for me. What exactly do they do to make it difficult for two souls to reach us in one year or five years? If after all these experiences I have found another person who can't do this work to me and who is already doing it well, why do you accuse me thinking that it is him you are accusing? When I have given the truth to others to preach and they refuse, and I give it to another person who preaches it well, in what do you want to accuse me? I had come into the world to do my saving work. Despite this, Satan still set many traps and stole all souls. 
if I want to go through another person to recover my souls. How have I hurt you? In the times of the apostles, I had called many. Was it not at the foot of one, Peter, that the offerings were laid down? When Ananias and Sapphira wanted to bring their offerings and light, what did Peter say? Didn't he say, Why are you deceiving the Holy Spirit? Will not Ananias and Sapphira die because of the lie they wanted to bring? Why didn't Peter become a crook and a murderer for you? Yet you believe in him. Or is it because he is not the OUFLE Apostle Gabriel? Were you present when I named Peter? Yet you believe in him, because his name is written in the Bible. My word declares. Ezekiel 34 colon 22 24 I will help my sheep, that they may no more be plundered and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set one shepherd over them, who shall feed them, my servant David. He shall feed them, he shall be their shepherd. I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. If I establish a single shepherd over all my sheep who is my servant David, and that David, I tell you today, is the apostle the OUFL Ecoco Gabriel, to whom do you want to deliver your first fruits and offerings so that it may reach me? Tell me. Is it up to you to give me instructions or to me to give you instructions? Is it for me to do your will or for you to do my will? When I say, John 10, 16, I have yet other sheep, which are not of this fold. These I must bring. They shall hear my voice, and there shall be one flock, one shepherd. If I give you one sheep fold and one shepherd, to which sheepfold do you want to bring your types, offerings and first fruits? Tell me. I, to whom the last word comes, have shown you the shepherd that it takes for your offerings to reach me. If you don't want to, do what you want yourself. Leviticus 10:1-2 and Nadak and by a who, parent sons, took every man a censer, and put fire upon it, and put incense upon it, and brought strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. Then the fire went out from before the Lord, and consumed them. They died before the Lord. Nadak and Abihu who did what I had not commanded. They did their own will, and then died. Does not my word say, Those who call me Lord, Lord, will not inherit the kingdom of heaven but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven? Is it my will that you are doing by saying that the Holy Spirit is not the Holy Spirit? He is rather Belzebul, mermaid, we do. Is it my will that you do by saying that the Holy Spirit is a liar, a crook and a thief? That is why you are guilty of an eternal sin that you will pay very dearly and eagerly in hell with all your generations. Deuteronomy 11 colon 26 28 Behold, I set before you today the blessing and the curse. Blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God 
which I command you this day. Cursing, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, and turn aside from the way which I command you this day, to go after other gods whom you know not. Deuteronomy 30 minutes and 19 seconds Today I take heaven and earth as witnesses against you. I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Choose life, so that you and your descendants may live. Genesis 2 17 But you shall not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For the day that you eat of it you shall die since you refused to choose life, that is why you perish with your posterity. When King Ahab would not listen to my voice to do my will, I gathered around him four hundred prophets who destroyed him. Those who will not do my will, I am ready to destroy them. In Noah's time, when men would not listen to my voice to be saved, the animals were saved in their place. How many people were saved? Isn't it eight Noah, his wife, his three sons with their wives? The others perished. How many people were saved in Sodom and Gomorrah? Isn't it three? Lot and his two daughters. The others perished. How many of my children who left Egypt did they reach Canaan? Isn't that two, Joshua and Caleb? The others also died in the desert. All those who will not do my will will also perish, says the Lord John 16 colon 2. They will exclude you from the synagogues. And even the hour is coming when whoever kills you will believe he is worshipping God. You are manipulated by demons and you gather yourself against me my word by hurting my envoy thinking that you are on the right path. My word declares. Such a way seems right to a man but its way out is the way of death. When you arrive in hell, the demons who have pushed you to such failings will teach you that I am a formidable God. 1 John 4 colon 1 2 Beloved, had not faith to every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God. For many false prophets have come into the world. Note this the Spirit of God. Every spirit who confesses Jesus Christ who came in the flesh is of God. Have you already experienced as my word says the spirit that is in my messenger? How does what he announces lead you to help? Answer me. Can you fight me? Do you know the number of stars in the sky? What is the number of grains of sand from the sea? How many trees and leaves has the earth produced since creation until now? How many hairs are on your head and how many hairs are on your arm? But answer me. You have not experienced anything but you reject because it is not you I have chosen. If I name you Father of Nations, will you accept or refuse? As I speak, if I sent Gabriel to you, to kneel before you, to apologize to you and lay hands on him and pray for him, if he told you that I sent him to you, to do so, I think you would have accepted him quickly. 1 John 4 colon for 6 You, little children, are of God, and have overcome them, 
because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world. That is why they speak from the world, and the world listens to them. We are of God. He who knows God listens to us. He who is not of God does not listen to us. That is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Since you are not of me, you cannot listen to my words. That is why you do not listen to my messenger. So you are possessed by the spirit of error. When you get to hell, that spirit will tell you, you were wrong. 1 John 3 colon 5 6 Now you know that Jesus appeared to take away sins, and there is no sin in him. Whosoever dwelleth in him sin not. Whosoever sins have not seen him, nor known him. Since you do not want to remain in me, I also have never seen you and I do not know you. Your end is the end of eternal fire.